Hello everyone. I know that none of you were expecting me to make a second video today, but neither was I. I never thought that this was ever going to happen to me, but the video I just made called I React to Disgusting Content, where I basically filmed my live reactions to four horrible videos and then just told, tell you what happens and then talk about them afterwards, has a copyright claim on it. Yes, a copyright claim. Don't believe me? Let's see here. I don't know if you can see it properly, but there you go. The video is doing pretty well right now for what I usually put up. It got 10 views in less than an hour. But I am... Let me just show you what, what this thing is talking about. I click on... It's like... Let's see here. Let me show you what this is. If you can't read English, and I'm sorry, just try typing this on the Google Translate or something. But it's saying here that it's a copyrighted song. I mean, it's the song that is from the video Two Girls, One Cop. And here's the thing. I, ha what is this song? And has anyone else who's made a video reacting to Two Girls, One Cop had this same thing happen to them? I mean, this is, I, I don't even know. I mean, I'm pretty sure that the video in question, Two Girls, One Cop, did not use the entire song. Is this a problem that's affected a lot of channels in the past where a third party will attack videos that react to Two Girls, One Cup just because of the use of this song? I mean, I'm legitimately curious because I'm starting to think that this is... Oh, I don't even know. I really want some, some answers about this. I mean, I have... Now to get the video's like monetization back, I have decided to remove the song from the video, which I'm pretty sure is going to also remove the dialogue I made during my reaction. And I can't recreate that reaction because I just can't. And what am I supposed to do? Mute the video and try to recreate what I said in the original? Just badly acted? I don't know. And I probably shouldn't. Because I consider that fraudulent. It's just... Ugh. I mean, when it comes to these copyright stuff, I didn't even know there was a company <clears throat> that existed that claims this music. I mean, here's the thing. Lover's Theme? And look, I actually do like the song that plays. It's just that the guy who made the video, Two Girls, One Cup, used it in a way that I find horrible. I mean, I actually would buy that song. I mean, it's a nice song. I mean, do you want me to buy this song? Is it that is that your priority? I mean, you attack my video with a copyright claim that takes the monetization away, and this is what you do. You just I'm really annoyed with you people. I mean, I didn't even, like, this is a 10-year-old video, who knows how old the song is, like, is this a popular song now that is being claimed? I mean, I can tell that this is a legit claim, like, it's not a false claim, and it doesn't affect the rest of the video because the other videos didn't use songs, or at least not songs that you might have heard of. I mean, is, like, is the same thing going to happen to the one guy, one screwdriver, just because it uses like a couple seconds of one song and then a portion of another one that lasts much longer, that both of them are obscure. It takes a lot of effort to find them now these days. Or maybe they aren't obscure. Maybe I'm wrong. So, this is just... Uh, wait... Ad rev for a third party on a behalf of Telemusic. Actually, I'm curious. Let's look at Telemusic. Who are they? Telemusic. Are they... Okay. Composition by... Someone... Who... Okay. Let's... Okay, let's, let's try this again. Lovers... Theme. Tell music. Like, can you buy this song? 
can you buy the song Lover's Theme? Because if that's the case, then you're not doing a good job trying to sell this song. Because, like, is it an iTunes song? I don't know. I mean, I've heard many YouTubers talk about, like, copyright claim infringement. But I never thought it was going to happen to me just because of the style of my videos where you... Ugh, I don't even... It's like... All I can say is that I'm free to talk. I mean, what kind of business strategy are you employing? I mean, and why did the makers of Two Girls, One Cup are allowed to get away of using this portion of the song? I mean, did they buy it, the song from you? I just, I don't even get it. I don't get it. And unless you actually talk to me about this, I will refuse to get it. Those are my thoughts. Goodbye.